Good evening, ladies and gents. My name is Anunnaki, and I'll be your host as we take a look at some of the stranger things of this world. Tonight's topic is about mysterious disappearances, and some of the strange phenomenon surrounding them. Millions of people, both children and adults, go missing around the world every year, with thousands of missing persons reported on the daily. And this isn't a recent phenomenon. The advent of modern technology helps in searching for missing people, but this wasn't an option in the past, with great numbers of people having disappeared without a trace throughout history. There are many reasons behind this. Abductions and kidnappings, murders and suicides, wars and natural disasters, just to name a few. However, throughout history, man has also given some more paranormal explanations. One famous case in British Columbia, prospector Albert Ostman was reportedly abducted by a Sasquatch and held captive for six days in 1957. In South America and other regions, there is also folklore about small mythical creatures called duendes, said to take children off into the forests or jungles and there's a myriad of similar tales throughout Europe and Africa alike. But our main focus tonight is even further east in the land of the rising sun. In Japan, there exists a special term for these sort of disappearances. Kami Kakushi, literally meaning hidden by the gods. But English speakers may recognize the term by a different translation, spirited away, most famously exemplified in the film of the same name. For anyone who hasn't had the pleasure of seeing it, allow me to quickly summarize. Spirited Away is an animated fantasy film produced by Studio Ghibli, which centers around a 10-year-old girl named Chihiro who inadvertently finds herself lost in the spirit world while traveling with her parents, must figure out a way to return herself and parents back to the normal world. While a work of fiction, many elements of this film borrow heavily from real folklore. The idea of young people becoming lost or misplaced in some other world filled with the supernatural. In the early 1900s, historian Kunio Yanagita wrote of such phenomenon in his book, Tono Monogatari, The Legends from Tono, a collection of native legends and folktales from the city of Tono and its surrounding region. Here, Kunio wrote of beings called the Yamabito, or mountain people an ancient and supernatural race who were said to live up in the mountains of the Japanese wilderness, and were said to kidnap women and children as well as hunters and travelers who went out at night. One of the more famous stories reads as such. One evening, a young peasant girl is playing alone in her yard, sitting under a pear tree. As dusk approaches, the clouds begin to darken and the wind begins to pick up, but still the girl does not go inside. Just as night approaches, the girl vanishes, the only trace left of her being her sandals that she was wearing, which now sit neatly under the pear tree. The neighborhood searches high and low for the missing girl, but sadly nothing turns up of her, and her family is left to assume the worst has happened. Thirty years later, on a night with particularly nasty weather, the now current occupants of the girl's old home receive a mysterious visitor, an old and haggard woman wearing ragged clothing. When asked why she has come, she tells them, I just wanted to come and see everyone again, one last time. I'm sorry, but I must go back now. And she disappears into the night as mysteriously as she came. Nobody attempts to stop her or follow her, because they know that she was the young girl who was spirited away many years ago now returning to the spirit world where she has resided for most of her life. <laughs> 